All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This reading here is for my Gemini zodiac sign. This is a love and relationship reading for you guys. Um, of course, before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else, so take what does and leave the rest. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, please flip them. So what we're going to do with this reading, we're going to do three uh, three cards for your energy. We'll do three cards for your person's energy or the energy surrounding you, okay, the person you're in a relationship with, etc. And then we'll clarify with the Love Oracle deck. We'll also clarify with the Romance deck, and then we'll end off with the um, Psychic Tarot for the Heart deck. So we're diving all the way in to your emotions here. All right. Let's clarify your energy here. Clarify Gemini's energy as far as love and relationships, please. What is going on with Gemini? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Gemini as far as love and relationships? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Gemini as far as love and relationships, please? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's clarify the energy surrounding Gemini. How is this person feeling about Gemini? How is this person feeling about Gen Gemini? Thank you. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding Gemini, please. Thank you, Spirit. One more. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding Gemini, please. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck is Eight of Swords for that part. Okay. Let's do... Um, so let's see, what I'm seeing so far, Gemini, your energy, Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. Okay, so progress, moving towards something, a lot of respect here, I do see. Queen of Wands, entrepreneur type of energy, busy energy, fire, passion. Okay, and then Ten of Cups, that's that uh, fulfillment, happiness energy. The energy um, of, the, of your person here, we have the devil. Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, the devil, toxicity, obsession, control, anger, um, issues, things like that. Eight of Wands, I see quick movement, but this can also represent love arrows. And then Eight of Pentacles, working on something. Clarify the Six of Wands energy. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Queen of Wands energy, please, for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Wands energy for Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Cups energy for Gemini, please. Clarify, thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Devil for Gemini. Clarify the, whoa. Thank you. Clarify the Eight of Wands for the Spirit surrounding, thank you. Woo. okay, that's three of them, that's a lot. I feel like that's a lot. Can we, can we just do one? I feel like that's too many. Let me do one. Clarify the Eight of Wands energy for the person surrounding Gemini, please. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for this person surrounding Gemini, please. Okay, that's two. I'll, I'll take those. As long as it's not three. <laughs> All right. So, let's see here. Take off this ring. It is irritating me. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and start on the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. Okay, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of mental, like, challenge or battling here. Uh, somebody could be really stuck in their head, not knowing what to do, not knowing what option to take or what choice to make here. Hmm, let's see. Okay, so the first card we have is Six of Wands and Separation. So what I'm getting with this, respect, of course, respect. Someone looks up to you, they see... Um, they um, like respect you, they cheer for you, they're rooting for you, it's the energy I'm getting. And then separation here, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So I feel like you did go through some type of separation with this person here. Maybe you broke up, okay? Maybe you broke up, you separated from them. You are missing them, you're thinking about them. Um, you're not sure what what what's gonna happen, okay? You're not sure if y'all are gonna get back together, or if y'all gonna y'all gonna get back in communication with each other and things like that. But I feel like a lot of people look up to you, or they have a lot of respect for you, okay? A lot of people are cheering you on, rooting you on, and things like that. You know, like probably 
Um, this could be friends being around you, you know, trying to keep your, your positive energy up and things like that. You could have taken this um, separation kind of hard. So there's a lot of people around you, you know, still rooting you, on, rooting you on, telling you like, hey, you got this, you're going to be okay. You know, keep pushing, keep moving forward, keep doing what you're doing. You have a, um, you'll, you know, you'll find love, you'll fall in love, things like that. There, there, there's somebody out there that's really, that's really, you know, like keeping you motivated, keeping you up into, into that positive energy here. Uh, we do have the Queen of Wands. And it's clarified with a heart with a key. Okay. So Queen of Wands, of course, is that busy type of energy. So you could be um, could be keeping yourself busy. You could be working a lot. Uh, heart with the key is welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and perfect. So you could have been uh, very busy, very focused, had a lot of passion, a lot of fire for this person. And to me, it's like you were actually um, opening your heart up to this person here, allowing this person to come in. Like you felt like, uh, there was a lot of connection here. You guys could have been like really sexually attracted to each other as well here. And so you were willing to open that up. Although you were busy, it's like you were making time for this person because you wanted to spend time with this person. Um, you really wanted to get to know this person. You were doing whatever you needed to do to get to know them, whether it was taking them out, okay, enjoying time with them, um, texting, calling, messaging. You were really into this, okay, is what I'm getting. You were really into this. And then we also have the Ten of Cups here with the snake. Hmm. So what this is telling me, Ten of Cups with the snake, uh, the snake says, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, and the other woman. So you may feel like there was somebody that came in and basically, like, took away your, your, your happiness, your fulfillment, your happy family okay you could have been uh you could have felt like you had a family with this person okay you were building a family with this person or you were creating um a family oriented uh type of situation with this person here you know you're really trying to grow with this person to uh to make something fulfilling with them you probably felt included okay if this person had kids you felt like you were stepping in you know stepping in uh to that responsibility role as far as like stepmom, stepdad, but you feel like somebody kind of came in and just maliciously took it away from you. Okay, you felt like some type of sneaky energy, some some really snaky energy kind of came in and like took it from under your feet. You feel like um, somebody came out of nowhere, like you didn't even realize that the energy I'm getting is like I want to look over my shoulder and I see somebody like, I'm looking over my shoulder, and they're texting somebody else, like, behind your back. Okay, like, they're communicating with somebody. Like, they're trying to hide it. They're trying to be sneaky about it. So, it could have been another person that kind of came in and messed this up. Is the energy that I'm getting. Or you think that's what happened. That could have been not what happened, but, you know, that's the, that's the energy I'm getting. Like, you feel like somebody came in and basically distracted your person here. And they, they went with that person instead of choosing you. Although you were here giving them everything. You know? Their energy, I have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love. Think of you and letting you know. And we have the devil. And see, that's the energy I was picking up on here. This love call and the devil energy. This could have been some lying, okay? They could have been really going behind your back, all right? Um, and the reason they were going behind your back, because somebody looked, text them, called them, okay, messaged them. They, they were actually, yeah, thinking of um, talking to somebody else. That could be why this Eight of Swords is here. You were, like, kind of confused on what happened. Like, dang, what? We were, we were doing good. We were going good. We had respect for each other. We were admiring one another. I was giving this person my all. You know, what the heck happened? And it's like somebody else came in and started texting or contacting this person, giving this person uh, energy, okay? And, um, yeah, that's what happened. Um, so the next card, we have karmic relationships and eight of wands. So this person here, this person 
the reason why they got distracted, okay, this person that contacted them, the love call, is a karmic relationship, all right? They are, um, it's like when it's a karmic relationship, it could be a relationship that's kind of toxic, okay? Uh, that it, it, it like, it comes into effect. It comes into effect. A lot of times, these karmic relationships end up hurting each other, okay? Um, but this, this relationship that's coming back here, it's like the love arrows that's coming. They do love each other, okay? I feel like it's meant to be, like they're meant to be together. If they're both, if they both have grown through everything and have matured and leveled up to where they need to be, then they, they could be perfect for each other. They could be soulmate energy. Uh, but we do have fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Okay, so with this karmic relationship here, I feel like although this person, okay, got in contact with this person again, I feel like this this person that's, uh, that contacted them, okay, messaged them, contacted them, and that's why they lost interest in you. They did become... Um, busy with somebody else and so that's why that snake energy is there i feel like you knew it you knew that it was happening like even here with the eight of swords you knew it was happening you were kind of um in your head about it like battling in your head like what the heck happened what went on yada 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 that's what happened they started talking to an ex okay or someone from the past or someone they've been in a relationship with before but i'm also getting they're telling me, they're saying, this connection with you that they had, it was a lesson for them. I don't know what they have going on. This person here, um, Gemini, I don't know what they had going on. They were going through something. And when they got with you, it's like it was a lesson for them. And unfortunately, that lesson ended up in breakup between you two. Or ended up in separation from you two. It's like this person had to learn something from you in order to propel them forward and it wasn't your fault it wasn't your fault it was just something that was set up for them like it was a uh, something that had to happen like they had to get someone like you and then and and experience that and then once they did it's like something clicked in them and then i don't know i'm feeling like they they didn't want to do it but it happened like it it how can i explain it like they were happy you know they were happy they were excited about it they wanted it but then once they got it they realized that that's not what they wanted is the energy i'm getting we have eight of pentacles and then passion and kisses um define that okay so with the Eight of Pentacles, of course, this is working, 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 passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun, kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So I feel like they, it's like they're working on themselves. To me, they're working on something financially here as well with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they're, and it's like they enjoyed this. They enjoyed the passion. They enjoyed the kisses. The, the chemistry, again, you guys had a lot of chemistry here, especially with this Queen of Wands. You had a lot of chemistry. You guys could have been very intimate, okay? Uh, a lot of kissing, a lot of uh, emotional caressing, holding at night, things like that. A lot of the stuff that they were looking for, but something, I don't know what the heck happened with them, okay? I don't know. Again, I just, with the, being the karmic relationship, it's like, they had to learn a lesson here, and unfortunately, you were the the lesson for them. You know, like it, you. Let's let me pull. <laughs> I don't know if I'm explaining this right. It's like let's do uh, clarify the energies here, please. As far as love and relationship, clarify these two energies, please. Clarify these two energies, please. Romantic feelings. Clarify these two energies, please. True love. One more. Clarify these two energies, please. Deception. Bam. There it is. Okay. There it is. The deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay? I couldn't have said it any better. They wanted 
happiness. They wanted this this happiness. They wanted this connection. They wanted to feel like they were loved. They were wanted. They wanted this. They wanted that. But unfortunately, they didn't want the relationship to last. Like they didn't want, they weren't in it for long term. Okay. They were only in it to get that temporary fix. There it is. All right. That's the message. They were only in it for a temporary fix. Okay. And unfortunately, you were the, um, the sacrifice to that. Like your, your feelings, your emotions were the sacrifice. Okay. In this here, in this situation, there's romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so it's like you did grow feelings for this person. You did start to become romantically involved with this person. And I feel like they knew that and they started latching on to that because they enjoyed that energy. But then at the end of the day, it's like they they gave you a little and then they snatched it back. And they were like, nope, I don't want it no more. I'm good. You gave them their temporary fix. And that sucks for you because it's like they used you to get their high, like their kick off of this here. We do have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So I felt like you felt as though this right here between you and this person was a once in a lifetime situation. Like you were in it. You know what I'm saying? You were all the way in it. But unfortunately, this person didn't feel that way. Any uh, clarity or advice here for Gemini? Any clarity or advice for Gemini? That's why you're confused. Yeah, that's why you're confused because you're like... I thought this person cared about me. I thought this person really loved me. I thought this person was very interested in me. We have rest and reconsider. Do not reconsider taking this person back if they come back, Gemini. They are not worth it. They do not deserve you, okay? Also feel like you're hoping that this person will come back to you, but Gemini, they're not, okay? They're, they're not going to come back. I don't see them coming back because what happened is... They needed their fix, they got their fix off of you, and now they've moved on, and they're okay, all right? We also have master, okay? This here is telling you you need to master your heart. Don't be so vulnerable to people, okay? Don't open up to people so quickly, because what's happening is um, when you open this up, you're allowing, your, uh, you're letting your wall down, okay? And then they're able to grab your heart, play with it the way they want to, and then stick it back in there after they get done bruising it bruising it hurting it stabbing it whatever they do to it stomping on it all that good stuff okay or i should say all that bad stuff like after they do all of that then they can give it back and then you're stuck with healing that okay so make sure you're protecting your heart and you're not allowing these people out here to just maliciously use you for your beautiful energy because i'm feeling this beautiful loving caring passionate energy off of you and unfortunately, you got stuck with somebody that wasn't worth two freaking cents. Okay, this person did not deserve you, Gemini. And unfortunately, that's what they did. They used you and got their high off of you, and then they let you go. All right? So be careful. Do not take them back, Gemini. All right, so Gemini, this is your reading. I'm sending you positivity. I hope you will find something, okay? You will find something in the future. Matter of fact, let me pull one more card. What's for Gemini in the future? What's going on with Gemini in the future as far as love and relationships? Thank you. Okay. Be careful, Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, King of Wands. All right? There's a lot of passion, a lot of fire here. Your sexual uh, situation may be going on. You may be enjoying that. But it's going to make you feel overwhelmed, okay, overburdened. So be careful who you're laying down with. And then the King of Wands is here as well. You're going to, don't settle, okay? Because the King of Wands is just enjoying company being around, but not necessarily having a relationship. So I hope that this person didn't freak you up, all right? But um, be, be positive, okay? Love is still available out there for you. Love is still out there for you. But don't let this person ruin you because you're a good person, all right? I can tell you have a lot of passion, a lot of fire here. But don't let this person ruin you, okay? You will find love in the future. You will find abundance. You just have to protect yourself, all right, here with the King of Swords. You will find that happiness you deserve. All right, so Gemini, that is your reading. I thank you so much for your love and support on the channel. Don't forget to smash that like button, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.